Hi, my name is Jonathan Granados, and today I will be presenting on the biopolymer polycaprolactone, better known as PCL. I will be presenting the properties, applications, benefits, biodegradation of PCL, and how PCL is made. I will begin by covering some of the properties of PCL. PCL is a synthetic, biodegradable, aliphatic polymer. It is a hydrophobic, semi-crystalline polymer with a melting point in the range of 59 to 64 degrees Celsius and a glass transition temperature of 60 degrees Celsius. PCL is biocompatible with many other polymers. It has three-dimensional and directional pore structures and good processability and ease of melting processing. We will see that due to these characteristics and properties, PCL is a very desirable polymer in many industries. Now that we know what PCL is, and I've covered some of the properties of PCL, I will now begin to go over the applications. Due to the characteristics of PCL, like its biodegradability, biocompatibility, and structure, PCL is a very desirable biopolymer, especially in the medical field. PCL can be used in drug delivery systems, sutures, contraceptives, wound dressing, fixation devices, and dentistry. For example, in dentistry, PCL is used as a filling material and root canal treatments. It can also be used in tissue engineering, which is the development of biological substitutes that replace, maintain, or improve tissue function or a whole organ. In tissue engineering, PCL is used as a scaffold. And finally, PCL can also be used in textiles. As we saw in the previous slides, PCL has many desirable characteristics and overall is a very desirable biopolymer to use. Due to this, there are many benefits that come from the use of PCL. The first benefit is that PCL is approved for use by the Food and Drug Administration, better known as the FDA. It is produced at a low cost. As we've seen before, PCL is desirable for medical use due to its biodegradability and biocompatibility. Due to its biodegradability, it reduces the risk of tissue drag, trauma, or infection in medical uses. When it comes to drug delivery systems, PCL allows for controlled release of a drug into the body. PCL is fully excreted from the body once bioresorbed. Due to its easy processability, PCL can be used by various polymer processing techniques to produce any type of scaffold when it comes to tissue engineering. Now that we've covered some of the applications and properties of PCL, we'll be going back to the beginning and see how PCL is made. PCL can be prepared by the ring opening polymerization of caprolactone using a variety of anionic, cationic, or coordination catalysts. Or it can be prepared via free radical ring opening polymerization of 2-methylene-1,3-dioxepane. Once it is made, PCL can be turned into a monofilament or multifilament using fiber formation methods. These method methods include melt spinning, which is when a polymer is melted, filtered, and extruded through the spinneret, wet spinning, which is when a polymer is dissolved into a suitable solvent and the solution is filtrated, derated, and pumped through the spinneret, or electrospinning, which is when the polymer melts or solution is subjected to strong electric fields and then the liquid phase polymer is ejected from a nozzle. Now that we have an idea of how PCL is made, we will go over its biodegradation process. PCL is degraded by hydrolysis and physiological conditions such as the ones found in the human body. The degradation of PCL is done in two steps. First, the non-enzymatic hydrolytic cleavage of ester groups, and second, polymer undergoes intracellular degradation once it reaches a molecular weight of less than 3,000 grams per mole. There is a diagram to the right that shows the degradation process of PCL. This now brings a conclusion to my presentation. I hope that through this presentation you gain some knowledge on PCL, what it is, its applications in various industries, the benefits to using PCL, and some information on how it's made and its biodegradation process.
Here are also some references that I use to help me with this presentation. Thank you.